Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, Alabama Reloader here. So, Happy New Year to everyone. I uh, hope you had a Merry Christmas as well. Um, today is no, Saturday, January 2nd. So, uh, been out of town for the past couple of days. Went hung out with family. Uh, we went over to Smith Lake and um, Coleman, Alabama. Went over there, um, hung out for a couple of days, just... It was really good to sort of chill with family, uh, spend some really good quality time with everybody, celebrate the new year. Um, and now we're back to the reloading grind. Uh, no, not really, but um, I've got a little bit of time to kill today. So um, an update for folks that are uh, mostly local. Um, this is going. This is uh, going to apply to you. Uh, I'll tell you what we're doing here in a second on our loads. Um, but for for people that are local, um, you know, I stopped by on the way home uh, today. I stopped by Van Sporting Goods and there in Coleman, off County Road. I think it's two twenty two. And uh, as far, I mean, it, just the stores that I've been to, um, you know, as far as the selection, the variety, and just the overall quantity, the volume of, of reloading supplies, that's been the best store that I've come across. However, it's a much further drive for me uh, to go there as opposed to uh, Mr. Big Guns in, in Huntsville. So that's why I really, I just like running over to, uh, to Mr. Big Guns in Huntsville, hanging out with those guys. Uh, they have a they have a really good reloading selection. Um, and can take care of basically anything I need. Uh, but stopped by Vans today since it was on the way home. And they had some primers, um, large pistol, they had Federal Gold Medal Match, large pistol, large pistol Magnum, and that brand. And then they had uh, they had some CCI 450, so the small rifle Magnum primers. They had Federal small pistol Magnum primers. And then they had a bunch of Federal large rifle Magnum primers, just your standard Federal, not the gold medal match stuff. So that's for anyone that's looking for primers here local, uh, locally, kind of to this area. Uh, there you go. There's you a place to go find them. Um, they are limiting primer uh, purchases to, they, they don't have any bricks. You can't buy a brick. Um, it is all, uh, we're going up in charge weight each time. That's why I keep having to change. Um, they, they're limiting you to just 400, you know, 400 count on your primers. So, you know, not, not ideal. You know, it'd be nice to, uh, buy you a brick if you could. Um, but you know, they don't have huge quantities, so they're, they're limiting you to 400 count on your primer purchases. I went ahead and just picked up, uh, 400 of the CCI 450s, the small rifle Magnums. That's what I use in the 350 legend. Uh, and then I'm, I may also try those in the, um, six, five Creedmoor since I'm shooting the, the Lapua small, small primer, small flash hole, brass i may try those in that in that cartridge as well um so i just went ahead and picked up a 400 more uh the price i mean it wasn't great it was 26 bucks for 400 so you're looking at six bucks a hundred you know 60 bucks for a thousand um basically is what that comes out to uh But, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. So, and the fact that they had them, they had a ton of bullets to choose from. Um, they had a decent amount of Hornady brass. Uh, so, if there's something you're looking for brass-wise, they had a ton of a ton of bullets to choose from. Uh, Spear, Nosler, Burger, Sierra, uh, Hornady, they, they've got all that stuff. So, uh, powder, powder was, it wasn't necessarily scarce, but there wasn't any on the shelf that I just had to, you know, had to have there, there wasn't any that I saw that I just, 
absolutely needed. Now, if you're if you're a six millimeter arc guy um, and you've been following along with Johnny's reloading bench, um, some of the results that he was getting using uh, Hornady or uh, Hodgson Lever Evolution, um, they had several pounds of that in stock. So if you want to go uh, pick that stuff up. Um, So that yeah yeah they had several pounds of, of lever evolution several pounds of uh, IMR forty four fifty one so if you're a Creedmoor guy you know looking for an alternative there that's been a, an amazing powder for me in the six five Creedmoor but I've got so much forty three fifty that I don't really need H forty three fifty I just don't need to go picking up more uh, six five powder so or powder that I would only use for the six five so I'm pretty good there. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd share that for, for the local folks. And then also over at Mr. Big Guns, uh, I was in there right before, I think it was New Year's Eve. I think I ran in there New Year's Eve maybe, uh, or the day before that, one of the two. I can't remember now. But ran in there and was just checking out everything they had. Um, and they had what I thought was a smoking deal on... Um, on Accurate Mag Pro. So that's the powder we're loading with now. I had I'd bought a pound of this a while back and I've run very few, uh, I'm using it in the 270 Winchester and loaded very few rounds with it. I just loaded up some of these uh, Hornady 130s and I think I shot just a couple of groups with Accurate Mag Pro. And I was like, meh, not too, you know, not terrible. So we'll explore that some more. Well, I was in there and they had um, two eight pound containers of Accurate Mag Pro, 167 bucks. So, you know, I was like, holy crap. I mean, that's that's not bad at all. Um, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good, that's pretty good price per pound um, on that powder. So, hold on two seconds. No way I don't. I lose track of this sometimes while I'm trying to talk to you guys. Uh, but no, I just thought that was a really good, a really good uh, buy on that powder. Um, so I, w I went ahead and picked up an eight pound jug of it. The only thing I'm going to use it in is 270 Winchester. So eight pounds is, is probably a uh, maybe a little bit overkill. But again, kind of in the times that we're in, you know, 167 bucks for a pretty good uh, powder in 270 Winchester. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and pull that trigger and, and jump on that. So went ahead and picked that up. So that's why we're coming back today. We're going to run through our pound. Uh, I'm going to start with the, the pound that I already had, and we're just going to run through, load up some more. Um, we've got a few different bullets that we're going to try. These I'd loaded up previously. These were the, the Nosler solid base uh, using... Uh, Winchester stay ball uh, six five so that's what that kind of that group there is we're also uh, we're going to use accurate mag pro and we're going to load up some 130 grain uh, ballistic tips 130 grain um, interlocks so and then I'm also thinking uh, probably load up some of these as well. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back, load up the 10 rounds. We're, we're just going to be testing velocity here uh, like we've done in several of our videos before. So this shouldn't be, um, shouldn't be news to anyone or you should be pretty familiar with how we're, how we're going to do things. Um, we're jumping two tenths of a grain. Uh, this is a really large case. So on a case this size, you 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 could probably get three tenth, you know, jump three tenths of a grain and be fine. We're just gonna jump two, uh, pretty hefty charge weights that we're that we're working with. The I'm starting off on the ballistic tip, Nosler ballistic tip. And Western Powders has has load data for this uh, for this bullet. So an accurate Mag Pro. and the starting charge is 58.5 grains, and the max is 65. So, uh, so you're, you're throwing some pretty big charges and that kind of, that factored into the, the, 
the reason to go ahead and purchase the eight pound jug as well. The fact that it's an eight pound jug, you know, I hadn't, I hadn't used the powder a whole lot. I've only, I've only shot just a handful of groups with it. So I don't have a ton of experience with it, but I definitely think there's some promise there. And plus, if you go and look at the Western load guide, uh, Western powders uh, load guide in 270 Winchester, this powder, uh, your max charges almost every single bullet that they try in every weight uh, or that they have listed, it's a compressed load. So you're talking about really good case fill, <clears throat> getting toward the top end of your of your charge weights there. No matter the bullet weight that you go with that's listed, your, your case fill is going to be really good, potentially really good, which could lead to good standard deviation, accuracy, all of those things, good consistent velocity numbers. So it, it helps, good case fill helps. And so that was that was intriguing about Accurate Mag Pro. Um, and that, that was the reason why I wanted to, to kind of test that powder some more. Um, but when you only have a pound of it and you're dumping, you know, 60 to 65 grain uh, charges, you know, for every, for every for every case then you kind of do burn through a, a pound pretty quick and I didn't want to have to go back you know get you know find out it shoots really well go back get another pound so just kind of on the off chance that things really work out and, and shoot well we'll have plenty of it to to use so that's what we're doing we're just loading up some more 270 Winchester nothing too crazy um, we're gonna stick with the 130 130 grain bullets um, probably for the foreseeable future. We've got them coming out of our ears here. I've got another box of the ballistic tips, another box of the of the uh, interlocks, and then of course I've got almost 500, uh, whatever, 500 minus these right here that I've already loaded up. So we've got a, a massive amount of 130 grain bullets to, to test. So that's it, that's where we stand. We're gonna be loading up and we'll, we'll perform all this testing at the same time. We'll check out some stay ball uh, run some accurate mag pro and just go from there and see what works. So if you guys have used this in 270 Winchester, let me know what you think about it. Uh, I thought that was a really good deal, you know, 167 bucks for, for eight pounds of the powder. So I went ahead and, and jumped on that. But yeah, if you need anything reloading wise, make sure you guys go and, and check out uh, Matt and his crew over at Mr. Big Guns. That's if you're in the Huntsville area. If you're a little bit further south and you know you're going to be coming through Coleman or whatever, definitely check out Van Sporting Goods. They they are limiting the primer purchases and the powder purchases, just like just about everybody else in the world these days. Uh, but they have a really good selection on bullets, which I don't think they're limiting bullet purchases. Not I don't think I saw a sign saying that. So uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, again, happy New Year, guys and gals, and we'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a good one.